how to care for the brim of your Panama. Now, the brim is the main thing you see. The crown tends to be stretched by your head and will, will stay together pretty well. Um, the brim will get wonky, particularly if someone sits on it, gets left, gets squished behind your cupboard, all that sorts of things. You know what I'm talking about. So what you need to do is you need to shape it. Now, if it's moist because you've been wearing it, then you can just literally run your fingers along it. So I, I use my thumb as a guide underneath and you can just smooth it all out. And the smoothing out is like a gentle iron. And every time you put a Panama hat on and it doesn't look right, you do a bit of this. Now, I'm just gonna warm this one up, warm the brim. This is a big brim and it's a natural edge. Natural edges are the ones that go wonkiest. They're the cheapest to make, but not the best. Traditionally, that's what they all were. But I, I, you see movie stars wearing Panamas, and I just feel sad for them because the Panama looks terrible because the brim's all wonky. Now, I do a cupping motion. I put my thumb underneath it here, and I cup it all the way around that edge. And what you're doing is creating a cup all the way around the hat, and that removes all the imperfections. And sometimes if it's a really big brim, it can take a little while. This one's a little bit floppy. You can see the back edge here. So I'm gonna go underneath and pinch it up a little bit, and that will give it a bit more substance. But the big brims, well, they're harder to do, and they get the longest. Now, if you've got a hat with a, with a sewing edge, it'll be easier to shape. The, the folding and, and crimping will make it hold together better. Um, if it's been a sewing edge with a plastic wire inside, I don't know if you can see, you can't really see it, but there's a little wire that runs along here, the brim lock wire, and that keeps the whole brim under tension, and your brim will always look good. From a practical perspective, 90% of my hats have a brim lock wire in them. It just means they always look good. And there's nothing I hate more than seeing my hat walking down the street, and the brim's all wonky, and you're like, oh man, how did that get wonky? And I want to rip it off people's heads and fix it up, but they would think I was insane. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much most of the work you'll do with your, your brim. The other one you can do is if you haven't got any tools, you can put it in a steamy bathroom, put the brim up and just let it sit and the brim will return to its memory of, of what the brim should be. And then you can snap it down again, run your fingers along it, smooth it out, make it look nice again. But brim work is pretty much most of what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you pick up a, a fancy Monte Cristi, for example, and you put him on, and he's not bad, but you can see the ripple through here, right? I can just run my fingers along it, just nice and smooth, and I can take that edge out of it. In an ideal world, you warm it up with a bit of steam, pop it on, run your fingers along it and then it smooths out. That one's probably needs a, probably a full steam. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Monte Cristis, oh, they're beautiful hats. But they take a little work to, to wear them around. It's kind of like a linen suit. You gotta care for it. So I've warmed the whole brim up underneath. Do the cupping motion all the way along, running my thumb under it. And you'll feel as it starts to stiffen up, as it cools, the fibers, you're basically aligning the fibers with your fingers. And now, you've got a brim that's nice and smooth. And then you snap it down, and you can just give it a little tweak. Run your fingers along it to make it nice and sharp. And then you have a very nice Monte Cristi.